Chief Calvin Williams and um, Keith Martin, who is the SAC for the DEA, are going to be addressing the media today regarding um, an officer involved shooting, um, an agent involved shooting, actually. Um, there's going to be a limited amount of information that we can get into tonight, um, but they will take a couple of questions. So just out of respect to the investigation, they can only answer a few things. Okay. Chief? Hi, Chief. Hi. Uh, just real quick, uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, the incident too much itself because it's a DEA incident, so uh, Agent Martin will talk about that. Uh, but I've talked to the family uh, of the person involved in this. Uh, we know the agent's okay. Uh, we're praying that the uh, person that was injured in this uh, is okay in this whole thing too. Uh, their family, I know you guys have probably uh, seen a lot of them. So we've talked to them, gave them all the information that you're probably going to get right now also. Uh, you know, I just asked the family, you know, there's a process here that goes on and that there are options within that process and for them to choose the right options as we go forward in this investigation and that we, you know, the main thing that we should do is pray for their loved one uh, to be okay. Uh, but the incident did happen here behind us. Uh, it was an operation uh, that was conducted here and, you know, uh, the shooting happened. Uh, I'll let Keith Martin get a little bit into, you know, that part of it. But again, uh, you know, we're here to support the DEA. Uh, of course, we're part of a task force that they're on, uh, that they run. And uh, again, you know, the main thing I want to say is that, you know, right now this, uh, this young man is, uh, uh, we're praying for him, uh, that he's okay in this whole endeavor. Uh, but we're also uh, trying to make sure people understand our law enforcement people are out here to protect the community. Uh, regardless of what happens around the country, the people here in Cleveland are out here to protect our community and keep people safe. And when guns uh, come in, become involved in things, you know, there, there's always a possibility of things like this happening. So I'll, I'll leave it at that, and uh, I'll let the special agent in charge, Mark, kind of address any okay. other things you have. Okay. Thank you, Thank you Chief. Good afternoon. Hi. Uh, today, DEA agents had an operation going on in this area. Uh, we believe unrelated to the operation, uh, two subjects approached one of the DEA agents brandishing a weapon, uh, at which time the agent felt threatened and uh, there was gunfire exchange. Um, the subject was hit, uh, the agent was not struck by any gunfire, and that's all I have at this time. Was were the... they in uni any type of uniform or were they plain clothes? So they were plain clothes, they were undercover agents. Did the individual who was shot fire any shots? That I, I don't have that information at this time. Do you know if he had his gun out or if he had it on his I, waistband? I, or I don't have that information at this time. I can only tell you that there was a gun brandished. Was this part of like Operation Legend or any of that? No, it was not. Okay. Are you able to elaborate on how he had the victim was taken to the hospital? So immediately after uh, the individual was shot, our agents rendered assistance uh, and uh, I believe we had a uh, um, one, one of the agents uh, packed the wound and he was taken to the hospital. When you say approach, did you mean uh, in a threatening way to rob, to, to knowing that they were agents or how? So I, again, at this time, I don't have information on that other than it may have been a carjacking or a robbery. We just don't know. Are you so were they in the car? No, the, the agent, mm -hmm. the agent was in the car two, two uh, individuals approached him, brandishing one brandishing a weapon, uh, and the agent jumped out of the car and got fire. How old were the two individuals that approached the car? I, I don't have that information. We'll be following up with you guys in a little bit with, a, with some additional information, probably like later on tonight. Okay. Okay. That was the white car we saw, obviously. Are, are both agencies investigating? So Cleveland Division of Police is investigating. We're going to be completely transparent and open with them. They will have everything they need. Uh -huh. Real quick, can I get just one of you to address with the climate in the country, not to Sorry. address any message to the community that you want to get across? Well, Kevin, I think I kind of said in the beginning, you know, we're asking people to, you know, kind of take these incidents uh, not as a whole, but, you know, incident by incident. You know, this happened here in Cleveland right behind me. You know, it's not related to anything else that happened around the country, you know, either prior to or, you know, that'll happen tomorrow. Uh, we're asking our community to, you know, basically make sure that we can 
uh, have room to complete this investigative process. And, and like Agent Martin says, once we're done, everything will be known to everybody. Uh, I mean, you can talk to you know the folks in the community to see if they know what happened. But we're investigating this, and we're you know getting all the evidence possible piece together exactly what happened because nobody knows exactly what happened except the three or four people involved in it. So once we get to the point where we can release that stuff, uh, you know, again, our partnership with the DEA, they're going to give us all the information we need and access to their agent to make sure that we do a thorough and comprehensive investigation and we will, you know, let you guys know what that is. We'll let the community know what that is. So, of course, I'm asking people, you know, to be calm and level-headed. Uh, of course, there are folks out there, their family members that are really upset about this, as they should be. You know, a person is in the hospital, but uh, again, you know, there has to be uh, some level of, you know, calmness to let the process at least do something to have some of the facts come out before people react in a way that you know is not uh, conducive to us really moving forward as a community and doing the things we need to do to protect our community and our officers out there. And that's what, what this is all about, is protecting the community and the officers that serve day in and day out. And when things like this happen, we got to get to the bottom of what happened. And then if there are mistakes on either side, then we got to make sure those mistakes don't happen again. I'm not saying that there were, but, uh, you know, we just have to make sure that uh, folks understand that, you know, there's a process that we're going through. It's not going to be a dragged out, months long, three, four, five, six months, but we're going to do our due diligence to get things done in a timely fashion, and then we'll let the community know exactly what happened. All right, thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.